Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to spend some time with me this evening, although I don't think I'm going to, you're going to see me. <laughs> I wanted to film um, my vanity, just show you what I have and um, I have spent I don't know how long trying to figure out how I can turn the camera but I can't figure it out. I can't turn the camera, I can't pause it and then turn the camera. And I tried filming on my phone and there's not enough, there's not enough storage on my phone. So um, I think my apps just take up too much space. So anyway, I'm going to show you. That's from the distance. The table was um, a table that we used. Actually, it was a hall table. Then it was used as a homework table. Then there were new desks bought for the children. And um, I said, I'll have that, please, because... Um, so it was a while since I'd had a nice vanity and in fact where that spot is is where my cot used to be for my babies so <laughs> um, there you go so I'm going to walk over I have some extra lighting set up because it's evening time it's about 10 o'clock in the evening here so pardon the movement so you can see that it is just it's a pine table underneath it I have um, a mock sheepskin it's not real I bought it in Ikea I think it was like 12 euro so, um, but it, it, it did, it fitted the bill for me because I had seen a picture on Pinterest of, I love looking at vanities on Pinterest and st makeup storage. And this was one idea that, that was put up. Um, so I, of course, of course I fell for it because as I say, this is a work in progress. This is the before, you're not going to see the after yet. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it. There's not a picture at the end of a beautifully, um, renovated vanity but <laughs> that's my intention to paint it either not pure white but a, a slightly off-white and um, maybe give it a little bit of a distressed look and change the the little handle on the drawer there so I'll just show you I don't even have a proper mirror I want to get a mirror with lighting around it so anyway there is my lovely sign my glam sign I love that it's it's kind of a pale blush pink I bought it in pennies or Primark I think it was like Six euro maybe and um, it's quite solid and um, it's quite heavy and I think sometimes it gets a little bit lost <laughs> with the things that are behind it and um, you can see behind there I, I'll just move it I have some beauty inspiration books and one of the one of them there a touch of grace is the one I was talking about the other night then I have underneath that are you a Jackie or a Marilyn that's by Pamela Kyo and then things a woman should know about style and that's by just trying to focus it in on that. Karen Homer. There. So that's my books. And I have others, but uh, that's, there's enough there to kind of... I put my mirror standing on top. And on the mirror I have clips to keep my hair back. The mirror lights up. Um, you can see me there. And the mirror lights up. So that's um, very handy for um, doing my makeup. Because I'm sitting with my back to the light. Now this little, I'll just move that, this little um, container has my skincare in it. Um, not all of it, because some of it is in my, my bathroom. But I'll just do it. That's my Pixi Glow Tonic that I've spoken about lots of times before. That's my L'Occitane uh, Shea Butter Hand Cream. I have my Mad Hippie Serums. That's the Vitamin C Serum. Or vitamin C and there's the vitamin or vitamin A serum and um, I have my rose hip seed oil which is just empty and um, the Atlantic aromatics I'm sorry the lighting is washing it out a little bit the rose hip seed oil I hope this isn't too grainy um, it's funny because if I turn the camera or if I actually use the camera for taking a picture it's much clearer I have a bottle of Jason vitamin E is it vitamin E Yes, 32, um, 32,000 international units. I think it's vitamin E. Anyway, it's it's a very thick oil and it was recommended to me by one of the girls in the health food store. That is my little spritzer bottle with my, um, what's that, my rose water that I use as a toner in the mornings. Um, and this is a bottle of vitamin E. Uh, Jason again, is the other one on Jason, did I say? Yes, it is. Um, this one is uh, 5,000 international units and it's skin oil. Very good as well for skin healing. I put it into body lotions and things like that. At the back then I have, let me see, that is a sample of the Clinique 
the little pigment drops so you can see in there there's the little sample and it tells you one two or three drops depending on the depth of col color and coverage that you want and behind that then I have a little sample of Chanel um, and it is oh it fell out <laughs> it's here there's the little sample it just fell out of the, the packaging this one is it's hard to do this actually <laughs> it's the Vitalumier the satin fluid makeup and it's shade 10 so let's see if I, I'll just put it to the side I don't want to waste time trying to put it away in behind this then I have these are vouchers for um, a local beauty salon I have two vouchers I have some Clarins foundation samples they're all Clarins then I have some Clinique moisture surge samples I have a qu good few of those I have a Nooks I have some Dermalogica I think also in there yes there's some L'Occitane it's the Precious Cream samples of the product. I haven't tried that yet. I just tried the Clinique Moisture Surge, Surge today just to see would it make a difference because I'm trying out a look for um, a Grace Kelly inspired makeup look and I know that in the 50s they really um, concentrated on you know hydrated and moisturized skin and I had put on my own normal skincare. Oh yeah I forgot to mention that. That's There's my Mad Hippie Skin Cream, um, so I had put that on and I just thought, I wonder if the Moisture Surge would um, possibly give it, give my skin a little bit more of um, a plumped effect. Um, so we'll have to see if that actually works. Here I have, this is my MAC, um, I don't know how I'm going to open this with one hand, it's my MAC, um, what am I trying to say? It's my palette and I can't open it with one hand, but it's the palette I showed you before. Um, yeah, I can't actually do it with one hand. Actually, the MAC palettes are... Oh, there we go. There we go. It can be quite hard to open. Um, it's a double-sided one, so I haven't started on the other side. You can put more eyeshadow or blush on the other side. So I have my, my little palette going on there. Then I have my Morphe palette. And it's the Morphe 350. Um, there's my Mac or my Chanel there again. It's actually quite hard to do this with one hand. There we go. Look at that burn array of colours. Now you can see that this one is very well used because my daughter has used it. She loves this. She absolutely loves the colours in it. Um, so because there are some that I wouldn't use. Um, but there's plenty of, I mean, I don't know if I'd go for the terracottas, but she loves it. So, um, it's more often than not in her room. <laughs> so, that's, I'll just pop those back in. Hopefully I won't knock everything over. Um, now, then I have a little clear cube, but it's not, this is not an expensive um, clear cube at all. I bought this in Primark, pennies. This one here, it was 10 euro. And it's actually really, really good. I'm, I'm, I've been meaning to get a second one because it holds quite a lot. So in the top shelf, I have some more. It is a bit squeaky. Um, I have a Sonia Kashuk eye palette. There, all lovely neutral colours. Um, I've hit pan on the black. I have my Naked Basics 2. Um, I all, I, do you know, I never really thought how difficult it is to do this. I've watched so many of these. There's my Naked Basics 2, so I love that. You can see it's well used. Um, what else is in? Oh, yeah, my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. This might be a little bit easier to open. Getting a bit better at doing There we go, and it has its little guide. So that's well used, you can see. I've been using that quite a bit. Um, it the little clear cube has the, the sponge in the bottom so the things don't kind of um, shift around in it too much. This is my Laura Mercier Secret, um, what is it called? Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. It's 
almost, I don't even know if you can see, but there's a tiny bit left in it. Um, I have my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus. Love that. I use that every day. Um, that's a sample. Oh, what was this one? Oh, that's the Yves. This is an Yves Saint Laurent. They did a seven day sample and that's the one that the girl gave me. And I, the writing has worn off. I think it's B or 20. I think I mentioned it before in, a, in another video. That's my Botanics Radiance Balm All Bright. Don't use that as often as I thought I was going to. That's my little tiny sponge for my under eye, for putting concealer and for putting um, my powder on, and my under eye setting powder. So in the bottom drawer then I have my, um, this is Chanel, my Lift Lumiere. This was a gift. Love it, but I use it sparingly because it's so expensive and I love it. This one is my number seven airbrush away foundation and you can see I have been using that. Um, I have, this is the one I spoke about in, I bought it for the packaging. It's the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish. It was a very popular foundation. I'm sorry if this camera is moving. Um, it was a very popular foundation in its day. There you can see me. Um, yeah, I, I'm not mad about it. It's very greasy. Um, switched hands now. That's my NARS. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to open this one. It's the NARS Orgasm anyway. Um, the blush. So I love, I, I love that and I have Hit Pan. Um, this is a Milani bronzer and it is in the color, it's 04 and it is, I can't see it now, Baked Bronzer. Baked Bronzer. I hope you can see that. Um, it's a lovely colour. It's it's got a little bit of gold going through it. It's it's kind of more sparkly. It's not a matte bronzer. Then I this is a new product I bought it today. It's the Catrice Camouflage um, Anti Shadow. Um, it's to cancel out dark circles. I have a little sample of Mac Prep and Prime. Um, Natural Radiance Base. Um, and then I have my Clinique Chubby Sticks and my number seven highlighter. I have a sample of number seven airbrush. I'm the queen of samples. What was in that? I think that was Radiance. Was it? I don't remember what that was. That one was. That was the Radiance one. And that might have been the the other one might have been the airbrush. No, there's the airbrush. There's the Radiance. And I can't remember what that one was. Sorry about that. <laughs> As I say, I'm constantly getting um, samples, and then sometimes if they don't, if the girl doesn't write it on it, I will forget. Um, so I'll just pop that back in there. So you can see it holds quite a bit. On the top of that, then I have my containers for my brushes and my lipsticks and lip liners. Um, this is a little candle. It's black pomegranate. I love that scent. It's a little bit like, it's supposed to be like Joe Malone pomegranate noir, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it does smell like it. Yes, it does. And I do like the scent. So I have my brushes in there. They're my face brushes. So I've got my, my um, flawless, is it flawless face, face brush? What's it called? It's a real techniques. Um, flawless face. <laughs> That's very hard to say. Flawless face Flawless finish. I'm not going to try and say it again. That's a Bobbi Brown uh, blush brush that I use all the time. This one was, this is called, what's it called? oh, it's just called Flawless. It's, that's the name on it, Flawless, but it's, it's a rip off of the um, Artiste brushes. And this one, <laughs> this one is um, a Primark version. It's a tiny one for putting maybe concealer on. And then I have my MAC foundation brush. I have, oh, this is a, I think it's a BB blush. It's a contour. You can see it's angled. I got it in super drug. That's the Sephora a con, um, a foundation brush that my daughter bought for me. And I have a couple of um, bare minerals brushes as well. This one is a small fluffy brush that I use for maybe highlighting or contouring or setting under, under eye concealer. But I, I don't know what make it is. It's just this little brush. 
this one has my eye brushes in it so and my glasses and um, a back combing brush so they're mainly mac brushes and that's a primark one um that's a primark one for your eyebrows and it's double-ended um so i have my these are my favorites i don't have a lot of brushes because i find i go for the same ones so they're my three favorites and they're all mac so I think one is a 217, a 221, and I'm not sure this is this one here, the little, this one here, um, is a very tapered little crease brush. Oops, and I try and keep, oh, I have, I think I have another MAC one there. That's the MAC angled brush. Can you see it there? And then I have, um, and here I have my eyelash curlers, and I have some lipstick, that's the, Clinique Chubby Stick. That's one of my favourite glosses there. It's, is it L'Oreal? Yes, it's L'Oreal. Um, what is it called? Cream, cream Gloss and it's in 103 Protest Cream. That's not going to focus for me. It's a lovely neutral gloss, but if you're wearing kind of a matte lipstick, it gives a lovely pop. That's one of my favourites. This is Sweet Stiletto by Charlotte Tilbury well used um i really love that gloss as well it's a kind of a peachy toffee that's another charlotte tilbury a much brighter one and it is in i think it's vixen i i would have to check in the light i think it's I'm not sure i think it's vixen then i have a long long bronzel um lip liner i have that's east end snob by rimmel and this one is mac dervish um you can see it there i have mac oops mac spices in here as well again i don't have a lot of um lip liners i do have well, maybe it's not in here i do have um charlotte tilbury pillow tuck oh it is here i had lost this for a while i couldn't find it and then it just turned up so i was so happy to find it because i do have a backup though then I have some lipsticks. These are not ones I would use on a regular basis. There's some L'Oreal. This is a very old one, but and it's I should really finish it. Look how little is left. It's um the Cheryl's lipstick, Cheryl Cole. You know the way they do Blake Lively and um oh they do lipsticks for famous people. And uh I can't put the lid back on that. Um because there's Blake's red like lively and um then i have a milani lipstick the nude cream and some other there's two kiko ones i think i showed these um in a lipstick video there's um a nyx i love that one it's um whipped caviar then i have behind that this is a face mask by pixie that i haven't used yet it's the glow oxygen mask i haven't i couldn't wait to buy it and then i haven't used it it's um a new beauty sponge it's a primark one there's something stuck on it there it's a bit of fluff um it is clean it's a brand new one then i have another little set of drawers i'm just going to move a mirror out there there's actually two sets there they're smaller um and they there's in the top drawer i have kind of all my eye products so what are we at 18 minutes um i have my eyebrow pencil that's the next one i use regularly the laura mercier eye base and flax that i've been trying to use up and it's i think it's very little left in it that's um, a mac sample of extreme dimension uh, 3d black lash this is a number seven eye base i can't even see all the names wear off these it's so annoying but it's a kind of um, a bronzy color this was a big fail i think it's um what make is it work the color i think it's 17. um it's supposed to be it's an eyeshadow but i when i swatched it on my hand it swatched really nicely and it was nice and soft and try and put it on your eyes and you pull your skin so that's a big fail um but it's still sitting in there um what then i have a little this is what i was talking about the other day the deluxe size it's a small one that you can buy from benefit gimme brow um that's also a deluxe sample size i think i got this free with a magazine and this one is oh what's it called ready set brow i don't know if i'm going to be able to post this because oh the quality is not great that's an eye cope brow gel um an essence eyeliner 
that already. That's a Lancome um, coal, black coal pencil, eye pencil. There's my teeny tiny Charlotte Rock and Coal, which is nearly finished and I'm very sad. That's a new one, L'Oreal Infallible. Oh, it's in brown. Um, that's, um, is this L'Oreal as well? I think it is. Why do the names rub away? I think it is L'Oreal and it's a black eyeliner. It's double sided. So you've got a chubby side and you've got a thinner side and I don't really like it because it smudges. So that's all that goes into that one. Try and get everything back in. Um, I'll put those things away in a minute. Then I have underneath that I have some Oh, I have something out there. Um, I have some shadows, single shadows. So I have my Steela Kitten. These are two MAC colours that I have them so long, I can't even read the colours on the back. One is pale pink and one is a kind of a pale skin colour. This is Groundwork, MAC Groundwork. It's one of the paint pots. This is paint pot in soft ochre. Um, if I could open it with one hand, you'd see that I've used quite a bit of it. This is, um, oh, is it Wet n Wild? Yes, Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. That's a good base and it's good for blending um, colours as well. This is um, Bobbi Brown. I think it's Heather. Yes, it is Bobbi Brown Heather. It's a lovely kind of a brownie heathery colour, purpley. Um, and this one is what I was talking about recently, the Revlon Creme Sh Cream Shadow Colour Stay. And it's in number 710 caramel. I bet I won't be able to put these back now with one hand. <laughs> so we'll try, we'll try. It's not working. An epic fail. Anyway, I'll take that out and then it'll close. Um, I'll just put that to one side. And I have another little drawer, another set underneath. And this drawer has been giving me trouble opening. I don't know why, because I've checked it several times. There's no reason why it won't open there. Um, and I have three MAC blushes in there. This one is Harmony. That's a, a brownish one and it's very good for contouring. That's, this one is Peachy Keen and this one is Melba. So, and I do use these. These are, I don't have a lot of blushes. I do use them regularly. This, the bottom that I have, my Catrice highlighter, the writing has worn off that again, but it's in, what color does it say? One, 10 and oh, zero 010 light infusion. I hope you can see that this is Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder. That little packet there has um, the little rubber piece for an eyelash curl. I think it's my MAC one. So that's that drawer. And then I'm just going to put those away in a minute. Um, so for any of the things that I cannot do with one hand, and um, there we go, that's that lipstick. Um, then I have this little, this little dish here, which is, it's small, there's my hand, so it's not much bigger than the palm of my hand. That was designed, look at the little shoes on it, it's designed by an Irish designer called Paul Costello, who designs um, ceramics and clothes um, and homewares for um, done stores. And I love that, I love the shoes and it's so pretty. So I, into that I put whatever earrings or rings or maybe hair clips. I put my watch in it at the end of the day. And then I have um, another mirror. This one has, um, you know, your regular mirror and I think it's five times um, magnified. Um, so I love that as well. Although I don't necessarily like what it shows me. Um, then I have a little drawer and in here I have um, the little inset is from Ikea. So I have more blushes in here. That's just a, oops, well, it was. <laughs> Vaseline with the um, designed by Lulu, Lulu Guinness. Very cute. This is another Milani blush, or not a blush, um, a bronzer, and it's in 05 Soleil baked bronzer. And this is a Milani blush, and this is in number three Berry Amour. So it's a lovely kind of brownie. I tend to use that more in the winter, autumn winter. This one I would use in summer because it's much more peachy, um, corally, and it is in 08 Coralina. This one is another summer blush, and that's why it's in here, and it's the Clinique Melon, Colourpop in Melon Pop. Yes, 08. 
Then I have, this one is, oh, what make is it? Oh, what make is it? I can't remember. Oh, it's written, it's written, yes. Well, there you go, sleek. I was about to say, it, I love the colour. It's called Antiqued. But this is what happened not long after I bought it. So I don't tend to use it very much because it's hard to close it. Then I have, oh yeah, this is Maybelline Colour Tattoo um, in, what colour is it? Does it say? It does say somewhere. Creme de Rose. And that was recommended by somebody on YouTube. I can't remember who. This one is a Kiko shadow that my daughter bought me. I don't think, is there a name on it? It's just called Infinity. And I don't use, I'm being honest, oops, I don't use it very often. It's a kind of a met metallic-y, taupey colour. This one I got free in a set. It's a little um, number seven and it's smudged with something. Um, and it's, a, I should use this more often. It's a taupey colour, taupey grey. Is there a name on it? I cannot see. Uh, it's just Stay Perfect eyeshadow. It came with a set. Um, it came free with a set. So I'll close that properly in a minute. Then I have some more palettes. That's my Naked 2 palette. Everybody knows that one. Then I have my Benefits Smoke and Eyes. 26 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to hurry up. My Tartlet. And a pair of scissors. Everything's coming out there. My Tartlet. Love that. A pair of scissors. Um, pillow Tuck lip liner, the backup of my Mad Hippie, um, Clinique Melon Pop lipstick for summer. This one is Max Snob again for summer. This one is Cream Cup for summer. Um, they are more summer colours. Um, and particularly because I'm so pale, I wouldn't really wear them. No, I can't put the lid back on that. I'll leave it out. That one is uh, Rimmel lipstick. It's Kate. Um, what number? Oh, three. It's another kind of a nude. I could wear, you could wear that winter or summer. I think I might have two of those and that's why one is in there. Um, what else have I got in here? Then I have another spare beauty sponge and you can see that's a it's PS from Penny's or Primark. Then I have my homemade hand scrub. I have one of the mitts, the cleansing mitts from Primark. I have a band to keep my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. And then underneath I have a little basket. Again, I think I bought the basket in Primark as well. And in that I would have just, you know, cotton wool balls. And I tend to keep in here things that I am using, you know, to try for the month. So I have my... Well, I, I went back to using this. I know I spoke about this before. It's the OGX Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. I actually love that. That is my Pantene shower foam condition, in shower foam conditioner. I really like that. It's very light. This is the Mixa that I spoke about. I, I'm between two minds. I've had to store it upside down because it won't come out through the pump anymore. That's just, you know, for rough skin on your feet. Again, I bought that in Primark. I have the Sally Hansen um, moisture polish remover, um, nail polish remover. I have my, oops, my dry brush from the body shop. I have these iPads that I have to talk about from Pretty target um, dark circles gel eye patches I have a L'Occitane sample of a rich body cream I have my L'Occitane hand scrub that I keep in the box because it's oily I have some tissues I have two of these cloths that I bought I thought I was buying the mitts but they're actually little cloths that I bought from Primark as well um, and I will tidy everything back up <laughs> so there we go. It's a bit messier now. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope the quality is okay and I might get to make an, a video tomorrow, possibly, and if not, definitely over the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for joining me um, and I hope to see you really soon. So take care. Bye bye.